Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Andy Brown. I'm the head instructor at the Climber School of Real Estate in Orlando, Florida. Here at the Climber School, we like to think we're the best real estate school in Florida. We feel like we prepare our students, pass that state exam, hopefully on their first try, pretty much better than anyone else, and I think our students agree. We have a lot of tools and aids to help you pass your state exam on our website, climberrealestateschool.com. I have a free 100 question practice exam, 10 math questions at the end. I have a YouTube video showing you how to do each one separately. Well, I just put up another 10 question free math exam. It's number one. I'm going to put some more up. I'm going to show you how to do all of them. This one is number two. I call it the bin problem. It's very similar to the lot problem you're going to get either the lot problem or the bin problem on the state exam. I pretty much guarantee that. They're very, very similar. The difference is with the parcel, you got flat gra uh, ground. Think of it as a one story. The bin problem is in a four story building, but it's pretty much the same. So let me read it to you. Number two, the bin problem. A developer is going to build a four story building that will house storage bins, like storage units. Each floor will be 400 feet by 600 feet. 20% of each floor has to be set aside for elevators and hallways. Pretty normal, right? Now, each storage bin is 10 feet by 20 feet. How many storage bins can the developer create to rent out? I teach all my students when they're doing the math stuff, the first thing you have to do with math word problems is pull the relevant math information out from the wordy nonsense. Create a list, create an organized list. So here we go. Four floors. Each floor is 400 feet by 600 feet. 20% of every floor set aside for elevators and hallways. That means you can't use it. Each bin is going to be 10 feet by 20 feet. Now, after you pull all the information out, you have to ask yourself, what's the question? What are they asking me? That's very important. In this case, it's how many bins? So now we know how to set this up. So let's see, what do we do first? Well, we have four floors and each one is 400 feet by 600 feet. So I'm gonna multiply this by four. So 400 feet by 600 feet times four floors gives me a grand total of 960,000 square feet. All right. If I turn this 20% into a decimal, that means it's 0.2. Let me see how much of that 960,000 square feet I can use. Nine hundred sixty thousand times 0.20 is 192,000 square feet. I can't use it. So if I have 960,000 square feet and I can't use 192,000, that leaves me with a grand total of 768,000 square feet. That's how many square feet this developer has to use for these storage bins. Now each bin is 10 by 20 feet. How big is that? Let's see. That means each storage bin is 200 square feet. The developer has 768,000 square feet. If I divide that by 200 square feet, that means 768,000 total square feet divided by 2,000. That developer has 3,840 storage bins that they can use and run out to make money. That's how you do the bin problem. Watch the first one, the lot problem. You're going to get one of those, I'm pretty darn sure. Climber School of Real Estate is so dedicated, all we care about is helping you pass your state exam, hopefully on the first try. We have a very famous two-day state exam sales review. We have people flying in from all over the country, renting a room for the night to take it. It's twice a month for a low fee, you can take it as much as you want for six months. You know why? All we care about is helping you pass your state exam. Why don't you get online or call us, 407-822-3926. And by the way, good luck.